Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our Monday night craft hour. I don't know why it looks dark in here. Welcome in, Chris's Kaleidoscope. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Taylor LT. Welcome in. Hey, Tanky Poo. Welcome in. Hey, Miss Margie, welcome in. in. Oh, 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 oh. Let me pause that over here. Oh, Sunita been a member for 20 months. Thank you, Sunita. Happy you're here. Happy you're happy to be here. <laughs> welcome in, Nisi. Welcome, welcome. I'll be in the kitchen listening in the background to support. I won't be able to chat, y'all. Very busy night, but love y'all. We love you too, Nisi. Hey, Cecilia, welcome in. Hey, Taylor, welcome. Oh, I didn't spoke to you, ain't I? <laughs> you speaking to me because I spoke in the chat. <laughs> hey, Sunita, welcome in. She says, hey, all, don't forget the DNA, aka the thumb. Hey, Mama J, welcome in. Hey, Angela Precious World, welcome in. Hey, Miss Diane Sharp, welcome in. Hey, Miss Debbie Perea. You're in the commercials. Well, if you've watched 30 seconds, skip it and come on in. <clears throat> hey, Miss Pam with Pounds Projects, welcome in. Now, somebody said, hey, Cindy. Did I miss Lulu? I don't see Lulu. Hey, Florence Boyer, welcome in. Hey, Miss C's Cottage, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. We're moving on tonight with our um, Monday night craft hour. Nubby Scrubby. Nubby Scrubby. Hey, Karen with KCraft49. Hey, Ivy B Creates. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Um, Ivy, I love that blanket and that pillow you made. Roll tight, roll, baby. <laughs> hey, Miss Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. Hey, darling. How's y'all's day been? It's storming here. It's thundering and lightning and raining and I did not see the milestone on StreamYard, uh, uh, Sunita. No, ma'am, I did not. <clears throat> and I don't know why it's not giving me the two options of the comments tonight either. Where it said comment and starred. That's right. Granny D got her squirrel somebody today. Did she show it on her live? I'm going to have to watch the replay. I was in town. I had ran to town. She named her Nibbles. Ooh. Yeah, last week. Well, you know what, Sunita? It just popped up up there at the top right there. And I can click on it and it says, wow, 20 months. Happy to be here. Thank you so much. Yes, it did pop up there at the top. Yep. Now all that is showing up. Okay. Let me go to live chat. On my end, too. Well, it should automatically put us on live chat, shouldn't it? Hey, Miss Vicky, welcome in. She named her Nibbles. You know what? It's on there because I, I see it because I'm on YouTube side of things. I was wondering why my mouth wasn't talking with <laughs> I'm on YouTube. No, it did not show up on StreamYard, Sunita. All right. We got Miss Vicky Tony in the house. We got we had rain off and on last night. Crazy went to Reno Rain there too. Hmm. Welcome in, Kimberly Rogers. Welcome in, Ronell. Welcome, welcome. Nibbles is a cute name. Tank. I guess that'd be appropriate because, you know, they pick those little nuts and stuff up and then, and then, and then, and then, and then they nibble, nibble. So, 
Thank you, Miss Debbie. Hey, Kel's Crochet Corner. Welcome in. Um, Kel, I am going to be using the same yarn we used last week for the washcloth. We're gonna finish, I'm gonna finish using this little bit. This should actually be enough to make it. And you'll need some scrubby yarn, whether it's the scrubby that is a hundred percent polyester or and the label came off. If you have the Red Heart Scrubby Cotton, then you can definitely use that. Now, that's what I use to make my husband scrubby with um, right here. I mix it with one of the polyesters. So, you can use the 100% cotton if you have it. But I'm going to be using the polyester. <clears throat> it's what, whatever your preference is. Um, and I'm using the 100% cotton that was left over from last week on the towel. Let's see. We're going to dance for you here in just a minute, Miss Debbie. Thank you, thank you, sweetheart. And I welcome Kel in. Hey, Bestie, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Aisha, welcome in. Thank you for sharing me. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Melissa with Crochet in Agreement. Welcome in. You're welcome, Kel. Go grab your yarn. We're going slow. My finger's still. I got it wrapped in a band-aid. I only have three stitches now. I took one out today. <laughs> and if I could um if I could hold the tweezers and the scissors with my left hand, I'd cut all of them out. Finished another baby dress today. We went to Hobby Lobby in Reno, crazy there too, and found one yarn, but went to a yard sale, got 300 in yarn, all new for $10. You got 300 skeins of yarn for $10 or? Hey, Natural Nay Nay 61, welcome in, welcome, welcome. I'm going to pop this up on the screen too, just so I can go over everything you'll need. I did put it on the community tab. But I'm going to use the rest of the leftover yarn from that one skein, one little skein of yarn. Should have enough because this is, we're going to be making a square one. Um, and the only thing we're going to do is make the square first. Then we'll crochet this. I'm going to show you an easy way to do this because I know a lot of people don't like working with it because you can't see your stitches. You don't worry about them. <laughs> we're going to make it work. <laughs> then we'll put the handle on. And if not, I got a backup. And I'm going to use the Red Heart Scrubby. Now, this is 100% polyester. Where's that? Right there. 100% polyester. Now, the yellow is 100% cotton. And it is a difference. It's made the same, but the feel is totally different. So, And you'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need a darning needle. Now, I'm going to use my 4.5 to make this, the cotton portion of it. Then, when I get ready to do this, I'm going to use the 5.0 to make the granny shawl. <clears throat> Ms. Diane, I don't know. $300 was a woman that paid. Oh, okay. Ms. Diane, I don't know what shawl, granny shawl you're talking If you're talking about my shawl. You'll need probably about 800 to 1,000 yards. Hey, Granny D, welcome in. I was just telling Miss C and them, I got to go back and watch the replay. She said you got your squirrel today, and you named him Nibbles. So I was in town, so I got to go watch the replay. I went and searched for a suture kit, but I got one coming. So, welcome in, Granny D. Diane, probably about um, 800 to 1,000 yards. I would have to find where I wrote everything down. What yarn did I? I used the cotton. I used the momenti. And I used one whole cake, which is 400 and, hold on a second, let me grab it. I can't see all the way over there. Okay. 
I used the Premier Momenti, 437 yards. And I used one whole cake and almost all of another one. So anywhere between 800 and 1,000 yards, depending on how big you want to make it. Because you can stop it at any point that you want to stop it. Kel said, okay, back, got some yarn. Hey, a stitching time by Lisa. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. All right, y'all. I do have slow mode on. I do not have subscriber only mode on. Keep up with the chat and let me know if I need to switch it over to that. I hope you've been subscribed for at least um, a day or two anyway. <laughs> And I am fixing to get back into, I started working on a lot of my whips yesterday. I worked on um, one of my blankets, not my mosaic blanket, Lord, no, not it. I worked on one of my mosaics, uh, one of my blankets, and I worked on the um, autumn granny scarf thing that Linda did that I was working on. And... I don't know if I'm on my third cake of the butterfly yarn or if I'm on my second cake. But if I'm on my third one, I am be able to finish it. I think I'm on number two. And if I'm on number two, I got one more. So I'll be able to finish it. But I've been... Yesterday was the first day I've actually crocheted all, pretty much all week. Other than Wednesday when I did that scrubby for my husband. That's it. We've been so busy around here. I was glad he got a load Friday. I said, oh, yes. <laughs> yes, Nibbles was suggested by Nisi, and I just thought it suited him. Miss C is such a doll. And not only did I get Nibbles, but she made me Rusty, the sun bunny. I won him from Daigo's fundraiser. Yeah, mine sits right behind me. Right up there on her stool. She sure does. Right along with my squirrel, Granny D, that I got you one alike. Right there, see? I sent you a squirrel like that. And I got me one because I'm a nutty buddy. And there's Becky right there. And that's Mr. Perzalot. Mr. Perzalot. <laughs> so... Yes, Kel, she's going to have a sweet little somebody family. All right, if y'all got, if y'all are ready to get started on this, it shouldn't take us long to do it because we're just doing a little small square. <clears throat> if y'all ready to get started, let me know and we'll get on into it. Green D says, love and hugs for all. I'm feeling kind of us. Uh, so I'm not up to naming y'all individually, but love you all. Miss Debbie said, I need to learn how to do Amigurumi. Hey, Carrie, welcome in. She said, at work, just listening. Miss Debbie is ready. And I really like these. I use these in my kitchen. And I like the handle. Because you can put your hand underneath it and kind of hold on to it and scrub your dishes and stuff like that. Then if you want to use the other side, you can just flip the handle over and you still got, then you can use this side. Oh, Melissa's eating, but she'll catch up when done. Miss C said, I'll help you, Debbie. <laughs> Miss C would be a great teacher for I'm a Garumi, y'all. Now, Miss Debbie, I do recommend, I can recommend an easy Amigurumi book. If you can read, you can read crochet patterns. It's called Crochet Cute Critters. They're real simple to do. And they have different animals in them. That's the one that I made the little um, dash the dog out of. That started off with my grandson saying, can I pet that dog right now? So, that one is a very easy one to get started on because the, the pattern 
of the animals are really, really easy. And I can show it to you. I actually cleaned my book section up. So, this is the one I was, I'm talking about. It's called Crochet Cute Critters 26 Easy Amigurumi Patterns. And they have all of these little animals in there. Uh, actually, that look, there's Rosie the Rabbit. They call her Rabbit. We would call her Bunny, wouldn't we? <laughs> and this is the little dog that I had made. Dash the dog. And that is dark. There we go. Oh, you're welcome, Granny D. I seen it at Tractor Supply, and I think you had already had, got one like that. All right, that's the little rabbit. They call it a rabbit, but I would call it a bunny. And they're, the, the designs of them are real easy. And I know, look at the elephant. I know if I can do them, you can do them. Your bee comes here in two weeks. I'll have to try that. I found my bee pattern. The big old bumble, the I call it a bumblebee. The big old bee that I did and gave to my grandbaby out of the um I made it out of that yarn from Dollar Tree. The chenille yarn. This one right here. I found it when I cleaned up my book section. It's called Crochet Cute Critters, Kale. I got it off of Amazon. At one point, and it may be, um, you could down, you could put it in your Kindle for free. I think it does have koalas, Melissa. Let's see. This was real easy to do too, Miss Debbie. Let's see, we got an alligator, a bear, a cat, a dog, an elephant, a fox, a giraffe, a hippo, a, a iguana, jellyfish, kangaroo, lamb, monkey, nightingale, owl, penguin, queen bee, rabbit, snail, turtle, unicorn, viper, whale, x-ray, fish, yak, and zebra. Nope, don't have a koala bear. I do have one that does have a koala in it, but I don't know which one it is. I would have to find it. And... Sunita, do you remember which one the koala was in? I know we were looking at them. You're fine, uh, Taylor. Hey, uh, Kivia, welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah, it's called Crochet Cute Critters by... Sarah Zimmerman. But this bee right here, I actually enjoyed making it, y'all. I had everything done except for one wing and her bow. And I let her sit in a bucket for I don't know how long. It was the donut book. That's right, the donut book. Thank you, Sunita. And I'm sure one of the other ones that I got may have a actual koala bear in it. Oh, I know what has the koala in it. My crochet animal blankets. This book. And you know, I did the unicorn blanket. Can't show it. Kendall took it home. I'm Kinsley took it home with her when they came last month. But yes, this one does have a koala bear. Let me see if I can find. Look. And y'all, these are so easy to do. And it is kind of a form of. I'll try to find it without. I don't think it's got an index. Um. I 
I know this one. Look at the bunny right here, y'all. Look how pretty. Isn't that cute? Wouldn't that be pretty for Easter? Hey, Nana Michelle. Yes, it's a blue looking book. But this, it you literally, you have to change your yarn out. But the way this book tells you to do it, it it's not bad because this right here, you crochet separately and then you put it to you put it on the face. All this is done separately. The only thing you're crocheting is the blanket with the face and then the ears and these flowers, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. You crochet those separately and then put it um onto the to the face and then you do a granny stitch border around it and remember i went around mine with the red heart i think it was the retro stripe yarn and it matched really really good it's a picture of it on my instagram but i did make this one and i did use the lavender um purple color here and they do give you color choices that they used in the pattern and she loved it and look at that cow isn't it cute who was on here the other night talking about cows a mosaic cow pattern they got a coon coons are mean i don't like coons they got a lion a sloth that's been me here lately moving like a sloth And once you make the blanket portion of it, then you can keep going around it with the border to make it as big as you want to. That's a monkey. And I know this book got a koala in it called Mom, uh, Llama Mama Kayla. Well, it's got a panda. Maybe that's what I was thinking was the koala. Nope. Here's the koala. I know, Melissa. My plan is to make one of each one of these. And this sheet and this lion is probably going to be my most challenging one because they have the loopy hair. So, but that unicorn was really, really easy to make. But she, she took it home. Kinsley said that she made sure she didn't leave that blanket behind and this is winnie the pooh that i had made y'all right there and that was a challenge because of the way the pattern was done everything was done in one piece you attach the head to the body then you attach the you did the legs and then when you got got to a certain point then you attach the legs to the body you attach the arms to the body the only thing that's removable is that shirt <laughs> oh it's anita dropped the link for my unicorn blanket i thought i had a picture of it on instagram i don't see i saw it on oh yeah here it is that's it right there. And I used the retro stripes in the Red Heart Super Saver for the outside of it. And I used lilac from Premier Basics for the blanket and Premier Basics white. And then just, that's the retro right there and the curls of the hair. I mean, it was, it was easy. And she loved it. You loved it. It was fun. Well, that poo wasn't so much fun. <laughs> he was not so much fun. So she's already put her order in for her purse. And she loves unicorns and rainbows. And I have a book that has a uni uh, rainbow square in it. So I'm going to take and make those squares 
and put them together and make her little cross body bag. Hey, Crystal with Divergent Crafter. Welcome in. Yeah, Pooh was my most challenging. Yes, Miss Vicky. Now that would be something real easy to make. It's not your typical graph gan where you're having to change multiple colors of yarn throughout. You're only having to do the one other color. And it was not bad at all. Crystal says, hey, y'all, Lord, Jeannie, your title. Hey, Mama Susu. Hey, Susan Burke, welcome in. Hey, all, Lord, Jeannie, your title and my subconscious messed me up. I read how to crochet with a nubby shaking my head. So sorry. <laughs> You're fine. I don't care. That was a pat. Well. I bought the book off of Etsy. It's a leisure art book. And it came with Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet. Someone apparently bought the leisure art book, made copies of it, and selling it as patterns on Etsy. How they're getting away with that, I have no idea, but they're doing it. And that's where I got them from. And before the live ends tonight, I'll show you the ones that I got. Hey, Kristen Elf, welcome in. And we're going to dance for Miss Debbie. Thank you so much, Miss Debbie. And then we're going to get into this scrubby. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was looking to see if those were right here. I might have to pull it up on my Etsy shop and show them, show them to you. But they were patterns, and I may. <laughs> I sure hope I didn't throw them away. <laughs> oh, I know I didn't throw them away. They might be in this folder. No, I thought I had them in protective sleeves, and I may have already put them in a um in my binder. But yeah, I got them off of Etsy, and it the book on there is a leisure arts book. You can suggest a great amigurumi beanie of a unicorn. Oh, yes. Yeah, send it to me, Crystal. All right. Remember, the nubby stitch is done using multiples of two plus one. We're going to measure this one and see how long it measures. Kitchen cotton is out. Yes, yes, yes. Make sure you got at least this measure is about five inches. So we're just going to do our single, our chain until we get about four and three quarters, five inches. Or you can make it as big as you want to make it. Let me bring y'all down closer. I'm going to remove it while I do that so I don't make nobody see it. All right, there we go. So multiples of two. And that is 16. 
And I'm just going to compare it to the one that I already got. We'll do about 18. I'm going to do 21. Because we're going to turn to the fourth chain and work into it. Hey, sis Chandra, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Autumn Edison, welcome in. I don't just yet, Autumn. Um, my area don't have a lot of craft fairs. But I am crocheting some stuff up. And I will be opening an Etsy shop. Yes. Hey, Sis Chandra, if I didn't speak to you, welcome in. Yes, uh, Crystal, please send me the link to that um, unicorn amigurumi. All right, so once you have your 21 chains, now in the washcloth, remember, we crocheted in the back bump. And this, we're going to um, crochet in the top of the chain. Because we're going to do a single crochet around this. We didn't do a single crochet around our dishcloth. But we're going to do a one, two, three, fourth. Just go into the top part and work a double crochet. And then we're going to work one double crochet in every chain until we get to the end. So the nubby stitch is multiples of two plus one. And then you work in the fourth chain from your hook. Now, if you don't want it to curl on you, use a bigger hook to make your chain with. But it, we're going to put a single crochet row around it so it doesn't matter. It'll straighten out. So one double crochet in the top of every chain. Until you get to the end. Now I'm going to go slow. Try to keep up with y'all tonight. Okay, Crystal. She would love that. She, I mean, she is a unicorn and rainbow fanatic. And I've I've started making a unicorn amigurumi. I have to finish it. I've. I stopped it because I didn't like how it was coming out. And I got another pattern. Didn't like it either. So I'm just going to finish the one that I already started. Because I'm almost done with it. Because I know regardless of what I think about it. She will love it. Is that light too bright? Is that better? I think a lot of y'all are just listening to what I'm telling you to do. Have any of y'all bought that um, art skill crafters closet cotton yarn from Dollar General? All right. Yeah, that would be perfect. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> take your time, Melissa. Take your time. Take your time. Get me a swallow of water. Yeah, I don't have yarn. It. I got some of it, but I'm going to be honest with you. I can't stand it. I'll get a skein of it and show it to y'all. One, it breaks real easy. Two, it's rougher than peaches and cream or lily sugar and cream. And it tells you to hand wash it and lay flat to dry. In cold water. Hey, Angel Renee today. Welcome in. Hey, Miss Deborah. And 
Jasmine with Delphine's Handcrafted. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. You're fine, Angel. Kelsey, yes, it's awful yarn. And I'm sure they recommend the cold water because it would probably, um, yeah, hand wash. I don't never go by what the label says. I gamble. <laughs> because the dye will probably run in it. Let me see. Can I? Oh, she's in her bed. I can get up. This is it. I was going to use this, but uh, I tried it. Nah. It is, it's rough. It feels like cardboard. And you don't get a color name. It's made in India. Hand washing cold water with a mild detergent. You better focus. There we go. With a mild detergent and lay flat to dry. And it gives you the yardage, 102 yards. Two ounces. It's art skills. Crafters closet yarn. I don't even know what would be comparable with this. Pretty color. It's different shades of teals. But I don't even know what cotton yarn would be comparable to it. So. Alright. After we get our foundation row done. We'll move on to row two. Row two will be a repeat row. And we're going to chain one and turn. And in this very first stitch, we're going to work a single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're going to work a treble. So wrap your yarn around your hook twice. Go into the next stitch and work a treble crochet. And then single into the next stitch, treble into the next stitch. And that's your repeat single in the next stitch, and treble into the next stitch. I'm using my finger. <laughs> Miss Susan, it's a lot better. I'm down to three stitches. I took one out today. I'm using Burnett Handicrafter. I've made other kitchen stuff with this, so now I'll have this scrubbies to match. Yes, I'll make more than one. Yes. So do one single in one stitch and a treble in the next stitch until you get to the end. I have some of that, I think it's Mary Maxim dishy cotton, but it's thin. Yeah, it's real thin. Yeah, it's not sore anymore, uh, Miss Susan. Hey, Jeanette Egan, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. See, y'all get to see all my little <laughs> crochet boo-boos. Second row, Kel, we're chaining one and turning and working a single crochet in the very first double, then a treble in the next stitch, single in the next, treble in the next. And on, for your foundation row, you do a double crochet all the way down your chain and crochet into the fourth chain.
but for the the actual nubby stitch you start with a single crochet in the first double crochet then you work a treble in the next one and then you work a single in the next stitch and a treble in the next one and that's your repeat okay granny d crystal um joanne's big twist cotton is premier home cotton it's just got big twist label on it hey chandler welcome in the same with the loops and thread little cotton schemes that they're selling now at michael's that's premier yarn too it's just got loops and thread label on it i actually did a review of the big twist yarn the big twist cotton yarn and the premier yarn of the same colors they didn't even change the colorway name they kept the same color name and everything <laughs> i have to read to the squirrels before i get too sleepy be back after if i don't read myself to sleep and melissa says laugh out loud d that's that would be funny you should upload the whole thing if that ever happens. Nap with Granny D. And Miss C says, looking forward to it, GD. And then we're going to treble in the next stitch. And when you get to your very last one, it looks like you only have one stitch left. But you got your chain three that we skipped when we worked into the fourth. And you're going to work a single crochet in the top of that third chain that we skipped from the beginning of our chain. So you will start with a single and end with a single. And that is the, see the nubs on the back side? That's from the treble crochets. Oh, Jeanette said, I've got my yarn room all set up. Way to go. Okay, Nana Michelle. And that was row two. Row two is a repeat row. Now, row three is also a repeat row. Yes, Tank, what's your question? It ends with a single. Starts with a single, ends with a single. That's why I said that when you get toward the end, you may look like you only have one stitch left. But you actually have two. I have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, seven, eight. Nineteen double crochets if you did um 21 if you chain 21 because we worked into the fourth chain so this chain three counts as one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen What's the name of the Pure Innocence Poncho? You're looking through the thumb drive and can't find it. Who's thumb drive? Bag of days? I have no idea, Tank. You asking the wrong person. Yeah, it does. It makes these cute little nubbies. And when I saw that stitch in the book and I said that would make good dishcloths and stuff. Facial scrubbies too. Tank, I have no idea. Yeah, you're supposed to have 19 double crochets. Um, it is called Mellow Fellow from Hobby Lobby. Crafter Secret Cotton. This is my go-to cotton. Hey, Christine Johnston, welcome in for kitchen stuff because it's a lot softer and easier to work with than the Lily Sugar and Cream. It's not detrimental on your hands. 
Miss Debbie, you got it. Hey, Miss Margaret, welcome in. She said, good evening, Jeannie, and all in the chat. Nana Michelle has made it, and I have to buy. She changed her titles. Huh. You're good, Miss Debbie. Yeah. When you get here to the end and you work your last, your single crochet before your end, it will look like you only have one stitch left. But you got that chain three right here. And that's where you work your last single crochet. So you do your travel. I'm going to have to go get another band-aid. I'm going to put a piece of tape on this one. Because that don't want to stick. All right. And then we're going to chain two. One, two. Now the chain two does not count as a stitch. It's just to keep our edges straight. And we're going to work a double crochet back into that single crochet. And then you're going to work one double crochet in every treble and every single crochet to the end. And you should still have 19 stitches. You're eager to see how I'm going to work in the scrubby. Easy. <laughs> I like easy, Melissa. Hey, Melissa, have you put together the colorway for, um, what was his name? Rowdy Roo? <laughs> Rudy Rout? What was the rooster's name? So just work one double crochet in every stitch for row three. Then row four, you'll repeat the nubby stitch. And we're doing one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven rows, looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, we're, we're only going to do this seven times, seven rows. And then double crochet in the top of that last single. And this will straighten out when we do that single crochet around it. I normally measure mine by my hand. I want to have at least a little bit left over on the sides. Not a lot. Hey, Miss Gloria. Chain two and turn and you're going to work a double crochet in that very first single and then one double all the way down so every single crochet gets a double crochet and every treble gets a double hey miss pam wiki granny welcome in not a problem darling she says she'll be lurking because her internet is going in and out so i can't keep up You gonna have more than nineteen stitches, M Melissa? Hey, Sherry knows. Welcome in. Well, thank you for stopping by and leaving your DNA. I promise not to use it. <laughs> yeah, I got something fun to tell y'all. Yeah, you can, Melissa. If you want to, you can do a, a, a decrease. 
<clears throat> All right, row four, we're going to chain one and turn. Work a single crochet in that very first double. Is everybody to row four or do I need to wait a minute? Yes. I'm waiting, Kel. I might not kill Melissa. <clears throat> Hey, I'll buy it too. Yeah, this will straighten out. I don't like how it curves either. <laughs> Kel, let me know when you're ready to move forward. It's raining here. Not thundering or anything right now, which is good because Sandy will be down here at my feet. And Sarah says, it's taken me three years to get straight edges on my projects, and I just noticed today that I finally got it. Hey, it don't matter how long it takes you to get there, as long as you got there, Sherry. <clears throat> All right. So chain one, Kel, and turn and work a single crochet in the very first double crochet. And then we're going to treble in the next stitch. Single into the next stitch. Treble into the next stitch. Single into the next stitch. Treble in the next. And do that all the way to the end. It's 100 degrees there, Miss Debbie. Wow. Says 79 here in thunderstorms. It's starting to thunder again. I was rushing to get back out here to the country. Because it was looked like it was going to come a real bad storm in town. And then it followed me home. <laughs> yes, 19 stitches. That's what you're supposed to have. And I'm not a knife holder. But doing knife makes me go slow. We've turned subtropical. It rains some every day like when we lived in Florida. Tank, it has been raining here like this every day, believe it or not, since that tragic thing happened in our neighborhood. So, over a week now. And not just rain, but we've been getting little thunderstorms. Sherry said, did anyone see the stitch tutorial Mikey from the crochet crowd just put up? It's called the mistake stitch. She said, heck, I've been doing mistake stitches for years. Tell me about it. I think we've all, <laughs> we've all done that before. All the time. <clears throat> I know um, Miss Cynthia, she just created a whole new stitch. 
Brenda has created a stitch um, from Brenda the Newbie Crocheter. She uh, created the Bren stitch. So... And then single in the last stitch. And then once you get to the end of that row, you chain two. But remember, it don't count as a stitch. That's right, Miss Vicky. Did you ever get the border? Um, frogged out. <laughs> Melissa says, I hope y'all can read typos because I'm full of them tonight. All right, then we're going, this next row will just be all double crochets. So one double crochet in every stitch to get to the end and you should still have 19 stitches. I got a knot. Oh no, Sherry, that's not good. He's done blocked some of his stitch tutorials and now they you have to be a member in order to see them. Okay, uh, Tank, I have realized all you have to do is a search on YouTube and find so many different stitches. Yes, Sherry. I took all the border off the green, sending the other one that still has the border on it. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we, I'm going to have to end up, because this is, I think, Lily Sugar and Cream. And I used a bigger hook, so I'm going to end up doing more than seven rows, probably nine. Yeah, Sherry, that's all you have to do. At the end of row five, one, two, three, four, five, chain one and turn. And then work the nubby stitch again. So single crochet and then treble in the next stitch. Single crochet and then treble in the next stitch. I'm going to tell you all this funny story. My husband, he's a hoot. <clears throat> He woke up Friday morning, went and looked out. We always walk out on our back porch, and he saw buzzards flying over. I had already seen them because I got up way before he did. And I, he said something about it, and I said, yeah, I seen them out there too, but they were flying over the little plum orchard, I call it, back there on my neighbor's property. And he said, no, nah, these were flying in the pasture area behind my shed over there is what he said. So I walked out there to see what they could be flying around. It was a big old armadillo. 
I don't know if he just died from old age or what he died from, but he didn't he didn't look like anything was wrong with him. And he said, well, I'm going to get it moved and throw it over there in the field. Because I don't, you know, we didn't want them in the pasture and stuff. The yarn you're using is making this very painful. What yarn you using, Kale? It does, Sherry. It does take a while to make real big ones. I don't make mine real big because one thing about cotton, when it gets wet, it gets some weight to it. Yeah, armadillo. Um, possum on a half shell. <laughs> oh, you're using scrubology. Where's my washcloth I made? This is about the size I make, Sherry. Right here. Oh, that's the wrong side. And this is done using that nubby stitch, too. And this is Crafter Secret yarn from Hobby Lobby. Because I don't like mine real big. I'm getting rid of all my fabric dish towels I got and replacing them with all cotton. I got several that I've already made. I made that one. I got two like this. This the one we did last week. It was a little bit bigger than those. And this is another scrubby that I did. Now this I did using the single crochet V-stitch. And I put the pink scrubby on the back of it. But it's made on the same concept as the one we're doing tonight, just with a different stitch. Okay, Miss Vicky. Yeah, a possum on a half shell. That's what we call armadillos. And here's the other one right here. So I got several that I've made with the nubby stitch. All these are the nubbies. And, um... He got a call that would come pick his truck up. It was in the shop. His big truck was in the shop. So he got a call. That they were done with it. So, of course, we hop in the pickup and we go to Montgomery to pick his truck up. He wasn't worried about no armadillo then. <laughs> so, afterwards, we got back. We came in the house for a little bit and... Checked on Sandy because we left her at home. And we sat down for a little while. And then he said, well, it's going to, he checked the weather and he said, it's going to rain about four o'clock. He said, storm about four o'clock. So I'm going out here and putting mud flaps on. I said, you need me to help you? He said, yeah, you can come help me if you want to. So I went out there with him. Well, the buzzards had done drug it from where it was dead at. Um, and Miss Sandy, she goes and rolls all in the area where he was originally at. Come back over there where we were smelling like a stump of granddaddy's. I said, oh, you got to get a bath. She hadn't been long, got a bath. A couple of days since she had a bath. I, oh, you got to get a bath. Now, she don't give me no problems bathing, but they're not her favorite. So once she finished row six with the nubby stitch, chain two, and turn, and work a double crochet down every stitch. So I, we came in the house. I put her straight in the tub. Gave her a bath. That thing pouted all the rest of the evening. All throughout the night. She didn't want to have nothing to do with me. Because once I got her out. Dried her with the towel. And then blow dried her. 
she wanted to go outside, and I know what she wanted to go outside for. She wanted to go roll around in the dirt and stuff. I said, you ain't carrying your butt outside. She took them ears back. She didn't want nothing to do with me. And <clears throat> Saturday morning, we get up I'm back there cooking breakfast. And I'm standing at the kitchen sink washing the dishes up. And I get a pain in my back. And Sandy in there in, in there by my husband. And I get a pain in my back. And I said, Oh, Lord, that was a sharp pain. He told Sandy, Girl, put your knife up. My husband said she was stabbing me in my back for giving her that bath. <laughs> And when he told her put that knife up, she barked. I said, Lord, have mercy. She is something else. She's spoiled rotten is what, what her problem is. Yeah, she was pouting. Oh, we have possums. We have armadillos. We have coons. Rabbit squirrels. We have all that in our yard. At one point, I was feeding the whole coon family. The babies, too. And if they was out there eating the cat food, that's what they were eating, the cat food. Um, And if I walked out on the back porch, all of them would reach in there and grab handfuls and take off running with it in the, in the field next to us. Yes, yeah, Sherry, you could use this stitch for a lot of things. I got this out of the in is it the indispensable stitch collection book or the new crochet stitch dictionary? I'll see before the end of the night and I'll show you the book that I got it out of. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, see, that's not we're gonna do nine rows since I'm using a 4.5. Now, if you're using a bigger hook than me and seven gets you. <clears throat> about three and a half inches then you can you can just pump your brakes and wait on me <laughs> so i'm gonna chain two uh chain one and turn now i'm gonna do my single and my treble and all the way back down and you want to end on a double crochet row Yeah, I love these. And I had made a little triangle scrubby for my kitchen. I love it on my pots and pans. And it don't scratch. I even use it on my glass top stove. And my husband came in one day full of grease. He can't work on his truck without getting greasy. And now Sandy goes out there and she's all underneath the trailers and the truck and everything else with him. He told me she checks the undercarriage, the parts that he can't check, she checks it for him. She comes in with grease all over her. Ooh, Crystal, an all-white coyote. Hey, Miguel, welcome in. Oh, you still under the weather? Hope you feel better. And he um, used the scrubby with Dawn dishwashing liquid to get the grease off of him. He said, hey, you can make some more of these. I said, yeah, why? He said, it gets all the grease off of me. So I let him start using that one. And I already had another one. I had a round one 
with the handle in there that I was using too. So I made him a big one. Yes, prayers for all those that are in pain. It would, Crystal, make it. Now, if I were you, I would do it like in all single crochets. But yes, 100% cotton would be excellent for a handle for a cast iron skillet. I use my, I made some of those pot holders, which we're going to make one using the nubby stitch. And I use them for mine. And I got a small one. I made just a little small one. And I use it for it. Make sure it's 100% cotton, though. I wouldn't use, uh, now for that cast iron, I would not use 8515. Only because the heat's going to absorb through it a lot faster with the polyester. It's not going to melt it, but you'll feel the heat faster through it than you would the 100% cotton. Yes, Granny D, prayers for all our folks that need it. All right, this should be my last row now. Yep. So I'm going to work my last row of doubles. And we're going to do the pot holder that's going to fold up on itself, but we're going to use the nubby stitch to do it with. Everything we're doing for the kitchen series, or if you want to use these in your bathroom, you can definitely use it in your bathroom as well. We're going to use the nubby stitch. <clears throat> And for the pot holder, because it's going to take us a little while with it, what I might do is do the tutorial and put it out there like Sunday before we do it on the live that Monday. Um, Miss Debbie, it's not, it's not sore anymore. <laughs> hey, Jen Jen, my friend. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Mindfully Crochet. Welcome in. Um, cause it's going to take a little while to do it, but, um, I may put the part, you know, a, a, do a tutorial on showing you how to get it started and everything, and then we'll pick it up on the live and finish it off together. So that is it. Now we're going to chain one. And go into this side stitch and work a single crochet and a single into the next. And that's that double. One single in that single crochet. And then two singles in the double. And it ain't got to be perfect. Just whichever way you can get them in there. Because I'm i the worst of doing a, a single crochet edge. It's like one side is easy to do and the other side is hard to do. Christine, it's uh, multiples of two plus one. And then you're going to do... A double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and a double crochet all the way down then you will chain one and work a single crochet in your first double crochet treble in the next single in the next treble in the next single in the next treble in the next all the way down and that's going to give you these little nubs that you see sticking up there 
and then after you finish the nubby row you chain two and work a double crochet in your first stitch and then a double crochet all the way down then you do the nubby stitch again which is just a single in one stitch treble in the next hey angela wright welcome in Yes, you can make them to fit it, too. Yeah. All right. This is a single. And you'll have a single crochet at the end of every nubby stitch row. And then you'll have a... Um, put two singles in your double crochet rows. All right. Now we're going to work two singles to turn. And then we're going to work one single crochet back down our chain and then we'll make the scrubby part Then we'll put it together and then we'll make the handle. And we'll be done. And I should, I might have enough left to do the handle. All right, here. Go into that bottom chain and work two. And then go in that top one and work one. And then carry it. See, this the side here that, because this is the one we chained two on. And I'm just going to. Put them right in there together. And that'll straighten out when we put the um, scrubby to it. I gotta make sure I'm putting two where I'm supposed to be, y'all. All right, and that was that. This is single. All right, two here. Single here, two here, yeah, that's right, single. And do two in that very last one to turn and then work a single crochet all the way back down the top of your doubles And then work one single in that last one. And then join with a slip stitch to your first one. And cut your yarn. And weave in your ends. Unless you want to hide them on the inside. <laughs> hey, Mishis. Welcome in. Nana Michelle said, Olivia is on her way over crochet party. She's into Amis lately. It doesn't count if I bought yarn for her on my yarn diet, right? Asking for a friend. Well, of course not. You didn't buy it for yourself. So you bought it for you bought it for her. I'm just weaving my ends in. So 
somewhat weaving them in anyway i should use the bigger hook on the chain but it's gonna all straighten out we're not gonna block it <laughs> All right, now, that's the top part of it. Now we're going to take our scrubby yarn. And I ain't even going to try to find the center of this. And with our 5 millimeter hook, make a slip stitch. Well, first of all, have y'all did your single crochets around? Hey, Michelle Crochets in Kansas. Welcome in. Sorry, Jay, I have to go, but I'll come back and finish the video in this dish scrub, even if it kills me. Hugs and love. Okay, Kale. Well, Michelle, do you have my contact information, my email and stuff? Send it to me in an email. I don't know what kind of question you would have that wouldn't be appropriate on a live. Unless it's a personal question. All right, so with the scrubby yarn and your five millimeter hook, now don't do the chains tight. Loosely chain. And there is no specific count of stitches that you do for this, which makes it the fun part. What I do is I make my chain. Because if you make a mistake with this, you're not going to see it. If you skip a stitch, you're not going to see it. I make my chain and measure it. I turn this over to the back side. And I measure it to see is it long enough. And this does have a... Well, the polyester has some stretch. Well, ask Michelle... So I'm going to go a couple of more just measure it to your scrubby like this Kel said hey Jen bye Jen lol hugs now what I do because it's the easiest stitch to me to do it with in that third chain and you just you find it the best way you can just work a half double crochet. I know a lot of people don't like working with the scrubby yarn because they can't see the stitches. And a lot of them will only work with it if they hold it with cotton. Well, even then it can get difficult to see. So just work a half double crochet in what you think is a stitch. As long as you're in a loop. Thank you, Miss Deborah. Y'all keep an eye on that one. AA Con Entertainment. We only do crochet entertainment over here. I don't know what kind of entertainment you do. But we only do crochet. Michelle, give me just a little while and I'll, I'll address that. That's okay, Miss Deborah. That's okay, honey. One thing I won't ever do is question why anybody cancels their membership or 
renews it or anything like that, honey, because I don't know your I don't know your situation. I just appreciate what you do when you do it. That is it. All right. So once I do that, that see, that's going to be perfect. You want it to be about the size of your scrubby. Enjoy dinner, Nisi. Thank you for being here. And then just chain two. Turn. And work a half double crochet in the first stitch. And then a half double crochet in the next stitch. And just kind of let your hook be the guide to your next stitch. And I don't crochet it tight. I do it loose. And you're just going to keep working half double crochet rows. Jenny, I counted when you chained and you chained 20. I probably did, Miguel. Thank you. Just keep crocheting half double crochet rows until it gets the same length as your scrubby. And then we're going, we're going to join it to our scrubby. But I do. I use this for to clean my glass top stove with and it don't scratch it or anything like that. Hey, Don P. Welcome in. I'm headed south closer to my neighborhood. Y'all going to be down there Memorial Day weekend, right? I'm trying to, um, I'm not going to try. I'm going to get my husband to let's go to my daughter's for Memorial Day. Now, her and my daughter and my grandchildren are supposed to be going to Gulf Shores. Saturday. Uh, so after your double crochet row, you chain one, then you're going to single crochet in the first stitch and then treble in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, treble in the next stitch. See, Miguel, just checking. <laughs> you ain't get my email, Don P. It may not have went through. I'll resend it. I will resend it. He'll be home tomorrow. And I'm going to have. Because he may end up leaving out Monday on Memorial Day. But um, we can go down there Friday. I need to take her some stuff down there anyway. Uh, we're going to join with our crochet hook, Miss Debbie. We're going to use the cotton yarn to join this with. I'll check it after the live and resend it, Miss uh, Dawn. And if you can't get in the actual stitch, top of the stitch, you can go in between them. Oh, Cher is making her three-year-old grandson a fox drawstring bag for a backpack. Oh, hey, Lori, welcome in. That's going to be so cute. So he like foxes, Sherry. You have a great night as well, Sherry. Mm. 
Michelle Crochets in Kansas, you still here? I also got my possum bag holder pattern on the same site for free. Oh, let's see you going to bed. Michelle, YouTube takes a percentage of every money that you get on YouTube, whether it's a super chat, super sticker, um, whether it's from ads or what it's from, they're going to take a percentage of it out. Um, if you look on your monetization portion of YouTube, it'll tell you the exact percentage that they take out. And also, if you do not make $100 a month, you will not get a check until you reach $100. Um, as far as doing things to increase your revenue, you got to find what works for your channel. Ads, the more views you get on your videos, the more money you make by ads. So, um... I don't know if you're planning on doing memberships or not, but um, they even take a portion of the membership fees and everything. So you just got to find what works for your channel. You got to make sure that you're doing content that people want to watch. Huh? Tend to sheep where you are. Don't pass them by. Well, hello there. As long as you're friendly, you're welcome. But if you mm, not friendly, we don't welcome you. <laughs> but if you're friendly, we welcome you. So welcome in, tend the sheep. Where you are, don't pass them by. I like that saying. But yeah, um, there is no magic way to increase your revenue. That's Penny. Hey, Penny. Well, welcome in. I've never met you. But thank you for being here. She said, oh, y'all so sweet. And we like sweet people. We, we drama free over here. We don't do drama, honey. And you're more than welcome to be here any time that I am live, which is every Monday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for the Yarny Fiber Sisters. Thank you, Sunita. Yeah, we like good people. And look, everybody know where I ain't been to Green D's in, in a while. So I'll see you over there Wednesday if you're in there Wednesday. My name is Jeannie. <clears throat> yep. Now, Miss Debbie, we're not doing a single crochet row around this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Could you imagine doing a single crochet row around this scrubby yarn? And I'm hoping that I have enough yarn to do the handle with. That way I know for sure you get a, a dishcloth and a scrubby out of one scheme. 
of I think 120 yards. Yep. Yeah, just have double crochet. And you just go back and forth working rows of half double crochet until it measures the same length of your scrubby. See? So I got about one more row to go. Kenny's name used to be Ford Man. Yes, it did. What is his name? What is his now, Tank? Now, somebody said, hey, Kenny. But everybody else calling her Penny. Tank is Penny. Where's Kenny? Hi, <laughs> Jen, you're important. Didn't know it. You, I got this from uh, Michaels on clearance. Um, Premier Yarn sells one called a washi. I don't know if they still have this on their website or not, but Premier has one called washi. Um, it's also polyester. Um, Hobby Lobby has one. <clears throat> you can get scrub, scrub yarn just about from anywhere. Tank said, oh, I thought y'all said Kenny. Penny. One of my friends in high school, and well, in school was, and my grandma and them's neighbor, her name was Penny. Look, she said, that's okay, love to crochet. Do people still like to watch vlogs of people showing what they are making and have finished? I kind of want to start recording my projects to have a record of my hobby instead of a scrapbook. I was watching to Lori, honestly... They do. Um, I know Llama Mama Kayla, she does do some tutorials from time to time and shows you how to do little stuff. But that's pretty much all she does is shows you what she's making, shows you her finished projects and stuff like that. And she's almost to 20,000 uh, subscribers and she gets good views. So... I say go for it if it's for you. And see, I'm going to stop here because that stretches. So, that is... See that, Miss Debbie? And Jen is asking Penny if she is the same Penny that she knew from years ago. Chain one and then snug that up. I'm going to attempt to weave this in. <laughs> <laughs> she said, indeed, Jen, indeed. <laughs> well, Penny, I'm so glad you found your way over here. I, now, I've got my YouTube schedule that I'm fixing to get back on. Right up here on my board in front of me. And... I'm fixing to start doing some of the same thing because honestly, a lot of the stuff I make, y'all don't never see it. Y'all probably think I don't be doing anything. And I've noticed I lost a couple of subscribers, but that's fine too. And it's probably because I hadn't done, um, been on you know done a video since last week but you know things happen and if you can't understand that life happens and things might happen that we can't do videos all the time and you unsubscribe for that reason i just prefer you to stay unsubscribed
Michelle, I hope the advice I gave you was good because, honey, there's no there's no magic to making money on YouTube. You just got to do what you love to do. Um, you're not going to get rich off of YouTube. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take that and lay it on top. Now, of course, it don't matter. No wrong or right side of the scrubby stuff. We're going to take our cotton yarn, make a slip knot, and I'm going to use my 4.5 on this. And I'm going to start right here. And go right in that stitch there and work a single crochet and we're just gonna work a single crochet all the way around this bad boy just make sure you catch your scrubby yarn in the back like i said don't worry about trying to get it in a stitch as long as you connect it that's the only thing that matters Don't try to find, in other words, you ain't got to worry about trying to find the actual stitch on the scrubby yarn. And this is how we're putting it together. Now, right here in the corner of this, we're going to do three single crochets instead of two. Give it a little more rounded edge. So, see? And that's all you're going to do is work a single crochet through every single of your scrubby, making sure that you grab that uh, scrubby yarn on the back. I got to go get my daughter from work soon. Almost done with the scrubby portion, but I'll remember this when I come back. Yep. Yeah, people, Crystal, people actually love to see what you're doing. Because we nosy like that. <laughs> I know I watch every video Llama Mama Kayla does. I enjoy listening to her. And I'm planning a trip home. I'm going to be planning a trip home in June. And my plan is to go, if she will allow me to come to her house, I will go to her house. I know she says she lives down a dirt road and a lot of people don't like coming. Honey, I grew up on dirt roads. Them same Louisiana dirt roads that she live on. I would love to go to her house and spend the day with her and us crochet. And if she will have me, that's what I'm going to do. So that means I'm going to be going home without the husband. <laughs> well, no, he can go and hang out with the kids. But I'm going to go hang out with Mama Mama Kayla if she'll have me. Looks like Easter grass. Yeah, it does. And that's a good thing you could use for it, too. So in this corner stitch, I'm doing three singles to round that corner. So in every corner, I'm doing three singles on this go round.
And it doesn't matter if you pull the scrubby through to this side a little bit. That don't matter. That's what it's looking like so far. Because your crochet hook will grab some of them strands of scrubby and bring it through. I got to hang out with two Yarny Peeps from YouTube and forgot to video both. I was gifted a large box of yarn from a special lady. So I was thinking of starting with an unboxing and then sharing what I make with the yarn. That would be nice, Crystal. All right, right here I'm going to do my three. One, two, three. And three. And now I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. Cut. And weave my ends in. So that is what it looks like so far. And you can stretch it to make it square. <laughs> Y'all know how cotton is. Yeah, oh, thank, yeah, thank Nana Michelle's back. Okay, Miss Margie, hope you feel better. Miss Diane, I have used Premier Sweet Roll before, and I used a size six millimeter hook. I used it to make a, um, actually, I made this with it where is it where is it you right here somewhere you're right here somewhere I made the Daphne Afghan by TL Yarn Crafts and I used the Premier Sweet Roll and I used a 6 millimeter crochet hook it's kind of thick on the thick side of a 4 weight so, depends on what you're making, though. We probably could have left the cotton yarn attached, right? You could have. You didn't have to cut it at the beginning. Yeah, you could have left it attached. You surely could have. Should have, could have, would have. <laughs> Yeah, Lori, start with the unboxing and stuff. Look, even if you do, if you buy stuff from Dollar Tree or Timu or different places like that, do those unboxings. Because believe it or not, people actually love to see stuff that you buy. I told you, we nosy. <laughs> we like to see. I got some stuff from Timu that I need to show y'all. That's why I organize my books and stuff. I love this little thing. I don't know how I'm going to show it to y'all. I ain't going to be able to pick it up with my books in there. But I was so excited to get it that um, I don't always do unboxings either. But this, somebody sent me a thing for to get some. And if I did this and this, you get stuff free. So... 
And I got this little, I can show y'all this though. I got this, not this here. <laughs> I got this cute little desk counter thing, uh, desktop organizer. Let me make myself big right quick. Let me switch, switch places off of Timu. You got to put it together. <laughs> but isn't it cute? So I got stuff that I use all the time right here on it. And it sits right here beside me. And I got a shelf that hangs right above it. And I take the shelf down. <clears throat> but I'll pull it up on Timu and show y'all underneath the camera. The thing that I got for my books. And I have my favorite books that I use all the time right here beside me. Let me pull it up and show y'all. <clears throat> Even though it's plastic and it, you put it together, I love it. Uh, you orders this thing right here that right there and I got my address books my notebooks that I write in all the time over there my books that I always use crochet books that I always use I got them in there and then it's got these little cup holders in the front of it right there. And I, I love it. Mine is blue. It's a teal, like a pretty light blue, teal looking blue. Mine is this one. And I got some silicone pans for my air fryer. Oh, I got these magnetic curtain holders, tie backs. Y'all, them things work good. And then my husband said, you could have crocheted them and you could have just put the magnets in the end of them. But no, you, something somebody else make is always better than what you make, ain't it? I said, well, you shut up. <laughs> Welcome in, love, laugh, live, Maggie. Welcome in. They do, Granny D. I would use a six millimeter. Lori, it, it basically is a puzzle that you put together. They send you screws to put it put in there, but they're not going through the wood. They're going in a slot. And then the leftover wood from it, they send you this. And this goes in the back of it. And it becomes a little, little stain. But it wasn't hard to put together. And these little pieces on the little, the tall divider part of it, they come out. They just slide in. So, but it wasn't hard to put together. You just have to look at the pictures to determine what, which ones is what. Hey, Rebecca, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. So now for the handle. Now, if you want to leave your yarn attached and slip stitch down to the area where we're going to put the handle, that's fine too. You can definitely do that. Um, start on the back side. And just, I, I look, I estimate where the center is at. And just insert your hook. And work a single crochet. And depending on how wide you want your handle to be. I usually do about five singles. Just like that. And then chain one. And turn. And you're just going to keep working. Single crochets. Uh, 
until it gets till it reaches the other side or if you don't want to do singles you can do half doubles but I do singles and I don't think mine's in the center it's not <laughs> Let me count my stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to start here and do about six. I'm going to leave a little longer tail because I weave it through my stitches to make them tighter. single I'm going to do six singles across yeah What do you want? It, it actually looked like a whole puzzle when I took it out the box, Lori. It is, Miguel. It's real nice. I had a um a triangle thing sitting over there, and Sandy, hush, now hush, and um you couldn't put a lot in the slots of it. And these, they stand up. Now, you can get the the uh, magazine holders and do the same thing. Because that's basically what it is. You just get one, two, three. One, two, three, four slots to put books and stuff in. With that. Plus, you get the little holders on the front. Because I ran out of space on my bookshelf right here beside me. And my other books, I was keeping them in a, a square basket underneath my desk here. And I said, no. I need to get something. That's going to... Um, that I can put on my table beside me where I can easily assess my crochet books that I use all the time. And y'all, I'm not going to have enough yarn to make my handle. That's what, well, one skein got that much done. So, I'll work that last single and pull that up. I'll show y'all if y'all had never seen this. Pull your loop up. And go through those two bars right there. Lay your new yarn on top of your hook. Pull it up. Grab your tail of the one that you're leaving and pull it through. And continue on. 
and you can even do that with with color with colored yarn. That's how you can join a new your new yarn to other yarn without tying a knot. And it's not going nowhere. And then weave your ends in. And once your handle reaches the other side, you just join it to the other side. And your scrubby is done. And you don't want it, you know, you don't want it to pull on your sides. Just lay it across. Edit that into a short. Hey, Maribel, welcome in. Y'all, let me go put her some more food in her bowl. She's in there with one foot in it, licking it, because she just done finished eating her food. And now she wants some more. Let me, I'll be right back. I'm back. I only give her one pouch at a time because if I put two in there, she tends not to eat all of it and it dries up. But if I just put one pouch, she eats it all. Hey, Jeanette with DOY Creations. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Lily M. Lord. Welcome in. <laughs> Penny says, I like scrubbies when other people make them, not I make them. <laughs> yes, Miss Deborah. Yes, yes, yes. People would love them as gifts. Never seen that technique before. And you can do it with any, any stitch, even in the middle of your project. Um... Because that blanket I was working on yesterday is black and red. And I'm doing five rows of red, five rows of black. And it's the peephole chevron stitch that I'm doing it in. And that's, I'm using that technique on changing out my black. From red to black and black from red. And I'll get it and show you that you can't. Even with a color jarn, you can't you can't see it.
She must have shook off. See, now, if I bring this over without pulling it, stretching it, and my side is not bulking, that is a good... I'm going to chain one and get it on this side. And now I'm going to go in. And on this side, I just join with a slip stitch. Because if you do a single crochet on this side, it's going to look funny. To me, it does anyway. And then join, join with a slip stitch all the way down your single crochets. And that is your handle. Because you want it to fit kind of snug to your hand, but not tight. Because you know when this gets wet, it's going to loosen up some anyway. And it will kind of cup around your hand a little bit. So, then chain your one. Cut your yarn. And weave your ends in. Well... I'm going to go over into this very next stitch and work a single, a slip stitch too and chain one and then cut my yarn. That way it's, it's actually got that secured there. Now what I like to do with this tail at the beginning is weave it back through my stitches. If I can pull it through. I can poke it through with this wood. <laughs> I haven't started selling them yet. Um, Penny. Sandy. Leave your bowl alone. Now you're not that hungry, honey. You gonna make these folks think I don't feed you. You just want to keep up a a payback, ain't it? And then this, I'm going to flip it to get this on the back side. Now, you can tie this if you want to, but you don't have to. And weave these in. Lord, I must crochet this real tight. Oh no, this hook feels like something sticky on it. Not a hook needle. I know what it's from. This band-aid. It's sticky on the needle instead of on my finger. Got to weave it in and make sure it don't come out. And one more. So you probably need about 130, 135 yards 
and you will get a dishcloth and a scrubby out of it. Come on through there. So if you use cotton yarn that has more yardage in it, then you could get more than that from it. Need a thimble on to weave this in. And see how that's kind of pulling that stitch right there where we started from with our slip stitch. I use my tail to fix that. And it is done. So we have made a scrubby and we have made a washcloth using the nubby stitch. Here's the washcloth, I mean the dishcloth, and there's the scrubby. Thank you, Penny. Jen always assumes the worst about you, Missy. Jen need the chocolate. Oh, it's okay, Miss Wanda. Miss Wanda, I know I still need to send you your stuff. A lot of y'all should be receiving stuff from me. So. <laughs> Tank starting the band-aid song. <laughs> Melissa said, can't wait to get back home and finish this. Might just have to wash a few dishes to try it out. I love mine. I do. And you don't, it don't scratch your pots or pans up or anything like that. And I, I put that on crooked job. <laughs> I should have came over a couple of more. It's okay. It's for the kitchen. <laughs> I wouldn't dare, dare send it to nobody, though. <laughs> like this one, it's straight. <laughs> Somebody can get this one. <laughs> it's never been used. So, and they're about the same size. So that's how I make those scrubbies like that. And I do do round ones too. And I do use um, the handles on them as well. Thank you, Miss Diane. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. So next, we will do the pot holder. And I will do the, I will do a, won't be the full tutorial, but it's going to get you started on it. To the point where you can get as far on it as you want to get before we do it next Monday on the live. So I'm also doing the tutorials on these as well. I will do those tomorrow. The wash, the dishcloth, and the scrubby. There will be tutorials for these, and the breezy bag will be coming out Wednesday. The tutorial for it will be coming out Wednesday. <clears throat> and um, I'll do a short on that. Oh, Lord, I put the wrong label on there. <laughs> I put Crafter Secret on there. <laughs> um, on how to join your yarn that way. Let me go grab this blanket right quick.
So this was a a whip basket. And I got it down yesterday. I said I'm going to start working on my whips. This is that autumn route that Linda from Linda Simpson's Designs did where she did the square. And it, it fits you in the back as a triangle. And this comes over your shoulder. And you do another one. It'll come here. The other one will come this way. And I'm using the butterfly yarn from Premier. And I know I had three cakes of it. And I used the center out of two for the square because you don't get much color in them. And I think or I may have used the center out of one square and then went with the flow of the gray. But I think I'm on cake number two. If I'm on cake two, I got enough to finish it because I still got this of the gray on that cake. And I worked, I did about, see, this is where I joined the new one at here. So I probably did it from here to here yesterday on it. So making progress. But this is the blanket. My stitch markers are for my counts. I'll grab that so I don't unravel it. So this is the blanket. And this is the peephole chevron stitch. It's in the crochet stitch dictionary book. It's in the darn, it's in the living room. But yeah, it's um got a mosquito bite, y'all. And I'm doing five rows of red, five of black, five of red, five of black, five of red. And I'm going to do that for so long. And then I'm going to do individual stripes in the center. Then I'm going to go back to the five and five. And everywhere you see the yarn where I joined that, I, I use that method. And it, it you don't have knots. So... And I did all this yesterday from the black up to this red. And then I switched over to that because I got tired of looking at the black. Trying to see it. I, I went to bed at 30 last night. I was tired. I was sleepy. Wasn't tired. Sleepy. And I'm using, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby for that. Hey, Maritza, welcome in. Ooh, Miss C said, my biggest tip for pot holders is save your old flannel sheets. They make the best filler for pot holders. Miss Diane, on your Amazon, it should say share. Put some alcohol on this mosquito bite before I make it a sore. What yarn is the beige scrubby? Oh, let's see if I got any more of that. It is, this might be it right here. Hold on. It's called Oasis. Peaches and cream. Mm. Peaches and cream Oasis. Yeah. Peaches and cream oasis yarn. That's the colorway of it. The, the beige. Let me see. It's, it's my little kitchen basket here. I don't know that I have any more of it the i 
remove that before you knock it over, Jeannie. This yarn right here, this is right here. It's Lily Sugar and Cream, and it is called Buttercream Ombre. Now, I got it from um, Michael's. And this color goes well with it. Those two. And this is called T Rose. And then I have this that I got at Michael's that goes good with it as your scrubby yarn. It's just a bunch of different shades of beige. Or this green would go really good with it. And then I got this to use with some orange cotton. I got all kind of colors of scrubby yarn. I got a, it's actually a baby thing on the back of my door. That um, my daughter didn't want. And I put it on my door. It hangs on the door. And um, it's full of scrubby yarn. The beige scrubby. Talking about this one? Yeah. That's that Oasis yarn. Thank you for sharing that tip, um, Miss C. Yes, Jeanette, crocheting is a hobby to escape reality. And this is my happy place. Hey, Miss Nancy, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. So this is my little basket <laughs> that I use when I'm making stuff for the kitchen and everything. But I'm going to have, I've already got some crochet dishcloths that I use. They're just squares. But this gives me one, two, three, four. Let's try and see that I have another one. But I don't. I thought I did. I guess I got four. Plus the one I made with the tutorial give me five. And now I have three scrubbies. Plus the ones I already have. I got this one. This one. And this one. And I put that green with that because of the green that's in this yarn. And I put the lime looking green because of the lime color in this yarn. But I do have blue. But that's like a purple. So... And it, that don't match my kitchen nowhere. <laughs> right, Maribel. Reality is overrated. It sure is. Overrated. I've actually made mug cozies. Um, little mug things out of that yarn. I should have some more of it to make sure that I'm telling you the right colorway. Let me peek on my shelf here. I got all my lily sugar and cream in one spot. And I don't. So it has to be that oasis that I got those empty labels for. Which I don't have a whole lot of Lily Sugar sugar and Cream yarn. I prefer the Crafter Secret from Hobby Lobby. And when it's 30% off, you get it fairly cheap. $2.99, 30% off. I don't know what it comes up to be. 
$2.99 times 30%, 90 cents off, $2.09. Cheaper than Michael's and Joanne's. Hey, Dawn, welcome in. Dawn, you recuperated from that eight-hour live you did. When was that? Yesterday morning I woke up and you were still live or this morning? That'd be yesterday morning. Y'all was going at it. But the book that the nubby stitches in, that's what I was going to look up and show y'all. The book. I know we went back and forth last week until I figured out which book it was in. And see, you can roll these up and put them in a little basket, or you can fold them up in a square and put them, tie them up with jute. You're a seven hour live. Glad I did. I laughed so hard. <laughs> I know I caught a good bit of Ursula's live this morning. I got up at 6.30. Hubby went to Florida, so I had to try to find him a load. I forget Florida hour ahead of me. So. So you can put them in a little basket. Have your little scrubbies in there. I'm going to put the pink one in there. <laughs> Even though it don't go with none of the yarn. And I got these little baskets at Walmart. In their little section like Target has when you first walk in. It says fresh and clean. So you can put them in a little basket. You sent the end product. I know Miss Vicky sent a picture of that. Yeah, great gift tank. They do good at craft fairs and stuff too. Let's see. Oh, Miss Debbie, you did good. Oh, so you used the oh Kobe so scrubby. Huh. Never seen that yarn before. And just cotton from Premier. Yep. Good job. That's Miss Debbie's final product. Yeah, that just cotton from let's see. Oh, I got to go on the computer and see it. I'm not logged in on Yarny Fiber Sisters on my phone. Google. There it is. Oh, wow. Let me share this with y'all. And then I'll get back to the chat. This is a blanket that Miss Debbie got from the from a flea market garage sale. Look at that. That is beautiful. 
And you're taking the border out of this one or you're leaving this one alone? Miss Vicky, if you still here. Did y'all see it? Of course y'all didn't, because I ain't got thing right. <laughs> Here we go. Stop camera there. Go here. Now why that one won't? There we go. Now y'all see the blanket, don't you? Oh, you don't know yet. Y'all see it now, right? It's pretty. I like the colors. Is it like a red or like a burnt orange? Looks like it might be red and mustard color. Hmm. Huh. It's filet crochet. Eight double crochet, skip one, eight double, skip one. Hmm. That's nice. And you rescued that. That is nice. Burnt orange. See, that's my color. The link night bike gills for steels is actually Sunita's channel. What? Really? Well, it sure is. I wonder how that happened. Well, I'll have to fix that. <laughs> yeah, Wanda, that is good. You can listen to it while driving and stuff, and you don't have to keep searching. <clears throat> Making my 100-day project score now for today. Oh, I'm going to do mine after I get off of here and do my video and get it uploaded. <laughs> Thank you, um, Penny, for letting me know that. Right, Miss Debbie. Anything with orange. Good night, Miss Deborah. Let um, let me dance for you, welcoming you back to the butterfly team. Thank you, Miss Deborah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They were two dollars for that one and the green one, just like it. Wow, that was a steal, Miss um, Vicky. The ones that I find, oh, Miss Debbie, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. This is for you. Let's dance. Now I'm play some. Ball. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm on. Um, I took my band-aid off, y'all. I'll try not to show my finger. Thank you, 
Thank you, Mindfully Crochet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your dinner. And Penny says, take care, everyone, heading out. Now, if you want your link dropped here, type the word neighbor and Nightbot will drop your link. And I'll take care of that with um, that link. I don't know why it started to do that. Let's see. Night might get a little mind of his own when he want to now. Mm. Lord, I don't even know what that would be under a timer. Edit. Yeah, I don't know why it would do that. Here. Copy. Here. I'm actually fixing it now, Penny. And we're going to see, does it work? Hmm. It should work now. But you can... Hey, Elizabeth. Welcome in. What I got her command set up as? Commands. Custom. I think I got her as Llama. No. V. Exclamation mark V. Sweet Elizabeth, how are you doing? Good night, Lily. Gotta go. The coyotes are coming down the mountain. I need to go put up the dogs. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Put up, put up the dogs or grab the shotgun one. Good night, Tank. So other than making the scrubby, what has everybody been working on today? I snuck in a little siesta. <laughs> Yep, it does. That is the second one I found this week. Yes, Elizabeth, your son's graduation. Oh, my gosh. You got some handsome boys, and that grandbaby is so beautiful. I figured they would be more than $2. It was a home that had a gated entrance in a three-story house in a four-car garage separate from the house in a long driveway. Wow. They don't know the value of crochet, Miss Vicky. Yes, Penny. Um, on my community tab, there's a link, there's a post there for if you want to join us the last Wednesday of the month at Cynthia's Joyful Creations channel. And play bingo with the Arnie Fiber Sisters. You can just go over there to the community post and leave five numbers, one through seventy-five. But I know you're saying bingo. You got it. 
meaning I got it right on Veronica's link. Oh, Tank's not leaving. She's saying night night to those leaving. Hat and scarf. Miss Deb, what a miss. Oh, you're working on a hat and scarf. Ellie, welcome in. She's working on a blanket for her granddaughter. Angela, thank you for asking. She actually um, got some really good news from the doctor. Um, she has diverticulitis. So he told her definitely increase her fiber intake. But her TSH levels, her thyroid stimulating hormone levels were back elevated. Still taking her medicine and everything. She did increase her to 75 milligrams of the TSH or micrograms, whatever it comes in. She did increase her to 75. And she thought once she got that under control, she would start losing weight. Chastity's actually been gaining weight. But... Um, and her endocrinologist told her that she wants her to lose weight. And if she doesn't, she's going to put her on a pill that's going to force her to lose weight. Or she's going to suggest she have weight loss surgery. Chase don't want to do neither. So she's gone out to the grocery store and bought a lot of healthy foods and stuff like that. And she's going to try to lose 35 pounds in three months before she goes back to the endocrinologist. Because she said, Mom, I'm not having weight loss surgery. And I'm not going to take a pill that's going to make me lose weight either. I know I can do it on my own. So, But all her tests that she had done from the colonoscopy, colonoscopy and the EGD came back good. Other than the diverticulitis. But he called it diverticular disease. So... He went over, you know, what she can have, what she can't have, and stuff like that. And um, a lot of the stuff that the endocrine, because she went and saw the endocrinologist Wednesday. She went and saw him Thursday. So what the endocrinologist suggested she eat was contradicted by what he told her to avoid. <laughs> so, but she did, she went and bought a lot of healthy stuff. Oh, I know they do, Elizabeth. It was nice to do some crocheting for a change, but other than that, for me, it's been socks, socks, socks. Hey, I still hadn't finished my first sock yet, but I'm I, I'm going to get back to it. Margaret G says, major house cleaning that has turned into totally reorganizing my yarn and taking on an inventory of all of it. I'm a sucker for punishment, honey. No, ma'am. Um... Somebody else did that and inventoried all their yarn. Who was it? Llama Mama Kayla? No. Somebody inventoried all their yarn. And they did it by recording what they had. Who was that? Oh, Miss Cynthia. Miss Cynthia. She did a little... She would put all her yarn of the same color, uh, the, the same yarn together, and she'd do a little recording. And then she sat down and put it in a spreadsheet. That was Miss Cynthia. Well, kudos to you, Miss Margaret, because if you're going to inventory it, you're doing better than me, honey, because I have not inventoried none of my yarn. I'm doing granny squares with red heart parrot stripe. Yeah, that red heart stripe yarn is pretty. Finish the last row of the never-ending temperature blanket for my first grandbaby. Now just need to hide all the tails. We just love weaving in ends, don't we? I'm working on the blanket for my friend using her late mother's yarn. You remember V's Bingo? What's your channel name used to be, Penny? Probably was selling their mother-in-law's or mother stuff, yeah. A Harlequin pattern dish mat. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. I'm working on my grown-up niece's cotton tote. She picked out on Pinterest with mushrooms on it. I don't read patterns, but I'm figuring it out okay. Well, Elizabeth, if you get hung up on any of it, send me a picture of it, and I'll help you with it. The part that you're struggling with. Just send me a picture or 
send me a link to the pattern and I'll actually buy it. And if it's free, I'll just print it off and I can help you with it. Oh, Nancy says prayers, please. She's going tomorrow for a biopsy. Everything's going to come back good on it. We claim it. We speak it in the name of the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Jenny, I know Chastity was finding out on Friday. Yeah, it actually was Thursday. She, they, I guess she went in early. I think that was Thursday. Might have been Friday, Elizabeth. <laughs> I'm trying to get my yarn organized too, yeah. Well, I went out in my shed the other day. Y'all know about more of those shells that you see right there. Right there. Well, that's only 10 of them. I got 20. Prayers for finances too. Yes. And I went out there. The other ones are in my shed in the box. And I couldn't. Uh, and I went out there to put them together. Because my husband needed a shelf in his shed. And I have one out there that just has my clear totes that I have um, my extra stuff in sitting on it. So I took all them off and set them on top of a tote. And I was going to set up those other shelves and put out there and set them in there. Well, I couldn't find my connectors. Found them today. I still ain't found my pink and shears, though. Still have not found them. Yeah, she, she texted me yesterday a picture of the stuff that she bought healthy and everything. And she said, let's do a mama-daughter challenge. Let's do this together, even though she's in Mobile and I'm here. Um, I told her, yes, let's do it. I'm down for it. Hey, Miss Tina, welcome in. I probably should insure uh ought to inventory your yarn for insurance part honey if anything ever had in mind i'm just gonna tell my head about ten thousand dollars worth of yarn <laughs> ah. hey beach girl welcome in she says she's inventorying her yarn on rivalry she's not finished yet Kim with yarning for a smile is putting all her yarn on rivalry, all with pictures. Is she selling it or is she just that's her way of inventorying it? See, I would put mine on an Excel spreadsheet because as I use a skein, I could deduct it and you know I could just do minus one and it'll keep track with how many I have left. Rebecca says, prayers, put my poor hands on the prayer list. I have deputons, contractures. The right hand is worse. Ooh, tank. I know that's painful. One of my family members said the mushrooms look like boy peepees. <laughs> now that's all I keep seeing and laughing. Lord, I was listening to a lot of Mom Kayla's video today. <laughs> and when she said it, I was in my car. I listen to videos, too. When I go to town, I'll put a video on, and it plays through my car. And I, I listen more than anything. But she was so showing a stitch marker that she got from Juju, uh, Cinnamon Stitch's daughter, of a little chicken. And she was telling this story of it, you know, and stuff about they used to have a whole lot of chickens. Well, she said they was a lot, um, Elijah's chickens. And stuff and how the roosters had certain hens and if another rooster got close to them it'd be a fight and all that kind of stuff and she was the little chicken it was little and she was trying to show it and she said it's white and got a little red on its head and got um some other color and she said it's got a little yellow pecker <laughs> i just laughed and laughed and laughed <laughs> I said, of all things, a yellow pecker. She's talking about his beak. I said, oh my gosh. That's going to make a lot of people laugh when they watch that video. <laughs> like boy peepees. 
<laughs> oh, now I got something else in my mind. Boy, pee-pees. I thought about inventory my yarn, but got to thinking about and having to go back and deduct when I pull some out, then add in as a buy. With what I want to do, it is too much trouble. Yeah. My husband said, I can then figure out how much I spent on yarn. I told him it is all documented in our accounting program. <laughs> there you go, Ms. Margaret. You want to do by color and lot numbers? That would be a good idea, Ms. Juan, uh, Melissa. Uh, Ms. Wanda. Yes, thank prayers for you. Darcy is working on the rest of our squares, finishing the dish rag. We started working on cinnamon stitches and inspired tank top with yarn from Granny D. Kim is getting in organized because she's building her yarn shit. Yeah. Yeah. If I do inventory mine, Miss Margaret, it would go on an Excel spreadsheet. Kristen else said, I would be afraid to know how much yarn I have. Well, Kristen, I don't know exactly how much yarn I have, but I know I have way, way, way too much. <clears throat> That's what I have done on the computer. Yeah, Miss Vicky. Jennifer calls it a yarn chicken. Yeah, yarn chicken. Beak. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't say beak. She said yellow pecker. <laughs> and she laughed about it too bless her heart <clears throat> yeah she laughed about it <laughs> I said Whoa. you gotta find humor in everything that you do though let me see what book that stitch came out of one of these two right here Won't take um this one. Melissa Leapman's Indispens indispensable stitch collection for crocheters. You get it on Amazon. And if you have the book, it is on page 86. The one that we've been doing the dishcloths and stuff with. It is right here at the bottom. Try to just show you the picture. Right, right there. That's it, right there. So, <clears throat> and the Peephole Chevron stitch come out of the um, Crochet Stitch Dictionary book. It's in the living room. I've actually got several spreadsheets started by brands with color and light numbers. Jeannie, so the stuff I brought for you, I can take back home with me. Oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Thanks that I was thinking back 30 years ago, I only had the yarn for what I was working on and usually had to wait till payday to get more to finish the project. Thank, yes, that's how I used to be. I only used to buy yarn and do a project with it. And... I wouldn't buy any more until then, but you know. What will I do for the next six months? I'm always sick of this. Sick of. What happens in the next six months, Elizabeth? Oh, talking about with the heat and stuff and the pollen and stuff? Honey, I don't know what we can do. I wish I knew what we could do. Yeah, sick of this. <clears throat> I wish I knew what we could do. Put that back right there because I'm going to make another, some more of those. I just want to know what is going to happen to all the yarn when we are gone. 
Oh, you're sick of work. When are you planning on retiring? It's in six months. I used my last sick day for the year at work today. My boss said he doesn't like me saying I'm sick if I'm not. I told him I'm sick. I'm sick of this shit. He cracked up and said, take a day off for mental health. <laughs> Elizabeth, I don't blame you, honey. Yeah, Kristen, yellow pecker. I only bought yarn for a project too. Then I started watching YouTube and seeing all this beautiful yarn. That's what got me, Dawn P. That is what got me. Margaret G said, someone will get the yarn and use it. About to pack up my desk. I already took a part two of my three Calex units, hoping to have my craft area set up at the new house soon. I know my daughter will get rid of my stash within 24 hours. Body won't even be cold. Mine said mine going to the to the dump. My husband. But Chastity and them won't let him do that. I never thought of having a yarn stash until I started watching all of you on YouTube. Can't blame just one enabler. It was all of you. Thank you, Miss Wanda. Thank you. See, other people enabled me and I enabled others. And others enabled everybody. <laughs> Good night, Ellie. Exactly, Elizabeth. At least you're honest. Oh, for nine more years. Elizabeth, you made me laugh out loud. Right. Hey, it's better to be honest than it is to tell, tell a story. Yep, we're yarn pushers, every last one of us. Tank said her husband said bonfire. Good night, Darcy. Yep, I, I because y'all, this is the God's honest truth. The only place I thought you could buy yarn from was Walmart. I did not know, and this this is even sadder. I did not know Michael sold yarn. I did not know that Hobby Lobby sold yarn, and I didn't know nothing about Joanne's. I thought Walmart was literally the only place that I could get yarn from. And the only thing I ever used to crochet with was the Burnett Baby yarn. The the three-weight yarn. What is the Baby Sport? The Burnett Baby uh, Blanket yarn. And Red Heart Super Saver. That's what I could get at my Walmart. I threw mine away tank. Maribel, me neither. That's where I got all my hooks from. That's where I got my looms from. That's where I, I used to get I used to get all my cross stitch stuff from Walmart. And we was over in Prattville one day, and I seen Michaels, and I'm like, "What in the world is Michaels? You too, bestie." And I went in there, didn't pay the yard no attention. I got a bunch of stuff for cross stitch. And I remember Kmart selling yarn, Miss Diane. But the places that we used to get yarn from when I when I was young and was crocheting was TGNY and Kmart. And Fred's. Fred used to sell yarn back way back in the day. And then it became just Walmart to me. Then it got to the point where I couldn't use Red Heart Super Saver because it'd break me out. I'd look like I have hives. So I boxed up all my Red Heart Super Saver that I had and I gave it to Sandrine. I took her like six big boxes of Red Heart Super Saver. And I had, I think, every color underneath the rainbow. Um, but when we went in Michael's for the first time, I went in there for cross stitch stuff. I didn't even pay attention to them even having crochet stuff. I knew they had crochet books because I bought books from them. 
and I bought cross stitch books out of there and I bought all of the DMC thread. Uh, my husband even bought me the containers to put it in, the bobbins, all that. Good night, Miss Margaret. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Ben Franklin, TGNY, Woolworth, and Hobby Lobby. See, I didn't know Hobby Lobby even existed. And y'all, my husband went in Hobby Lobby with me last week. I like to fill out. <laughs> like to have fell out. I went by Dollar Tree today. <clears throat> Let's show y'all what I show y'all this fabric I got and what my plans are with it. Y'all know I told y'all I'm gonna take some crochet with fabric and make something out of it. And I'm gonna use these colors right here. And I was so happy. Look at the orange. <laughs> and I only got one of each because this is going to be cut up. So, only one of each. So, I got orange. I got this green. Like a lime color. Got like this pretty teal color. This like green blue color. A blue. A gray. Purple. Black. And red. So I got one of each color because it's going to be cut up. That's why I'm working on a lot of my other stuff to get a lot of stuff done and out of the way. So I can start working on this fabric stuff. If what I got up here, you like the green too? Yeah. If what I got up here works out, it's going to be real nice. So... I got to put it with my other. And they had some of these scissors. I ain't even opened them to see what they like. And I just got some markers. I got, got this dish pan to use as a water bowl for outside for my cats. Right here. <laughs> Because the pan I had for them was one I had got from Tractor Supply. And my darn husband used it to drain the oil out of the lawnmower. Thank you, Elizabeth. They had some floral scissors. First time I've ever seen them. In Dollar Tree. So. And I got some black markers. I got some small popsicle sticks. And I got the, uh, the hair clamp that's in my hair and another one. I got some bigger ones because I keep breaking the other ones. And then I got some glitter markers, purple and orange. Orange. And I got some floral tape and some floral wire. I got four packs of that floral tape and the floral wire. And I got a couple of more pair of those little Dollar Tree scissors because I've had probably about six pairs in here and I don't, I don't have but two. And I take them all over the house and I swear my husband would be picking them up. And I got this ribbon. With the sunflowers on it. I'm going to go now. See y'all later. Good night, Miss Diane. My baby is coming here for a week in two weeks. Ooh, nice, Miss Debbie. I'm going to crochet the stripes like the crochet rugs into.
it's gonna be kind of sort of what you're talking about, Miss Vicky, but not not quite. Not quite. Well, we're going to dance. Yes, Miss Debbie, they're real nice. They're huge. For a dollar twenty-five, you really can't beat that. Cause hair clamps are high at Walmart, and I only had them in this like rose, light rose color. In this, like a periwinkle blue, but it's it, it's not tight. And it's not pulling my hair. And this usually all I do is just pull stuff up in a clamp. Yes, yeah, she'll make new special memories. Nana Michelle Tank got a question. What's the name of the Pure Innocent Poncho? I have Bod's flash drive and the names are different. I thought it was the Pure Innocent Shawl. Hey, Regina, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. I just got one more row. Yeah, we all miss Regina. Have you got your internet straightened out, Miss Regina, or are you still using your phone? She said, Tank, the poncho, it was not on her drive sent to her. She had to get it from Etsy. Oh, Beach Girl, it's good. I, I've already took the Band-Aid off. I don't know if y'all want to see it. I took a stitch out today. I think it's called the Pure Innocent Shawl. You want me to try to find it on the channel for you? And drop the link. Bag of day. Pure innocent shawl. Here you go, right here, tank. This the, the of course this will be the tutorial now. It won't be the it won't be the um There's a poncho too. Well, let me see. That's for the shawl. I don't know what what the poncho would be then. She got a spring summer poncho. Easy crochet poncho, poncho for beginners, the lacy mint poncho, easy summer swimsuit cover, easy hooded poncho. Just go to um YouTube tank and type in poncho. <laughs> It didn't come up for no pure innocent poncho. Yeah, my finger's better. It's not sore anymore. I can bend it. I still can't bend it all the way down. It it pulls, but I can get it a whole lot closer before it was still way out here i couldn't bend it tutorial number 503 on bod there you go don p did it let's see
out of crochet a lady shawl it's it's just coming up the pure innocent shawl I don't know, um, Tank. Says she does call the names change, Jeannie. Well, if you go on her, if you go bag of day ponchos, it's going to pull up all her poncho tutorials. And if you don't know the name of it, you would have to go on there and look to see which one it is that you're wanting. She's got a quick and easy crochet poncho tutorial, hair and bone stitch poncho, um, easy crochet poncho tutorial, a poncho with sleeves, a granny connection poncho, a men's poncho, hidden truce crochet poncho, crochet summer poncho, the scrap happy poncho, a square poncho, a blanket poncho, a poncho for beginners, the lacy mint poncho, spring summer poncho, and a DIY poncho, pebbles in the sand poncho. Is that the one? She's got a picture of it where you can either turn it to the side or you can turn it with the points. Um, ribbed adult poncho. How to crochet a lady shawl, pure innocence. I mean, it's on the mannequin where it looks like a poncho, but it's also wrapped around it too. And that um, autumn stripe poncho. Easy summer poncho swimsuit cover. Cow neck poncho. An easy hooded poncho. Opal bridge crochet poncho. Is that is that it? It is sunshine days poncho. Now, let me find Sunshine Days Poncho. Okay, Verna Bradshaw also has a Sunshine Days Poncho. Oh, no, that's her wilt. It was a year ago. Is this it? Is that it, Tank? coming back i hit the wrong button i thought i was still on youtube <laughs> all right view full playlist all right Can you see that? All right. Now, this is all her ponchos. This one is called a blanket poncho from four years ago. 
Pebbles in the sand four years ago. The Lacy Mint Poncho five years ago. So all of those are five years. Those are the only ones from four years ago. You got two choices. Pebbles in the sand or crushed velvet. A blanket poncho. Well, this is all her ponchos. That's a cable stitch poncho. There's a Bohemian Night Poncho. Now these are three years ago. I don't know what that one's called. It just says crochet poncho for women. That one's called Oprah Bridge. Carolina poncho. Granny Connection. That one's called Through the Clouds. And that's it for ponchos. What's the name of it, Nana Michelle, on Etsy? Egg O Day. Can you put the name of it in the in the chat, Nana Michelle? Hey Cindy, welcome in. Welcome, welcome, sweetheart. Hey Nikki, welcome in. I'm doing good, Lulu. How about you? If Nana Michelle will give me the name of it on Etsy, I'll um, see if I can copy the link. Because I got Etsy pulled up. Nikki Jen is asking, how is your mom? Oh, we got to dance for Elizabeth, y'all. <laughs> I didn't forget you, Elizabeth. I 
Oh, she said today not feeling so good. I'm getting tired. I think I need to go to sleep. I'm out of sick days, so I can't tell my boss. I'm sick of work and not coming in anymore. Well, in January, I'll start. Well, we're going to dance crochet poncho pattern. Bag of day crochet. Digital download only is what I got. Crochet poncho pattern. Let's dance right quick for Elizabeth, and I'll see if I can find it. Is it for $3.99, um, Nana Michelle? Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you so much, sweetheart. And is it um, pattern? Uh, six fifty one double herringbone. Let me share this and see if this is the one Tank's talking about. <laughs> Regina said, I have missed that music. If this is the one, then she has a tutorial for it. Oh, don't you start that. I don't know why Etsy is doing that. Oh, because my Wi-Fi is not working real good right now. Not the herringbone one. Good night, Mama J. Okay, well, that's not it. Closing out some of these other things I got open. I don't know what's going on. It's just spinning. Nana Michelle, what color is it on the picture? Are you in blue? Yeah, you in blue. Red, it's red. It is uh tank, it's gotta be Etsy because it's not even loading. Yeah, she has a wrench. Y'all don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. I redid my Wi-Fi.
This laptop been doing that ever since I updated to Windows 11. And I don't know why. ETSY.com. That ain't gonna get it. Okay. Let me see if it'll let me share. Share screen. And then, Michelle, when you see it, let me know. All right, these are her ponchos. This was the red. This is red, but that's that herringbone one. Okay, we're doing four in a row. So, now Michelle, let me know when you see it. You said it was red. That that one's red, but that's the herringbone one. Or is it this one? That one's red. Good night, Don P. You have a beautiful night, as beautiful as you are, and be safe on the road. I will. Okay, she's saying this is the one right here. Oh, snap. Will you stop it? There's There should be a tutorial for this one. Yeah, that one. Oh. Well, let me share. Good night, Dom. So it's this one right here. It just says crochet poncho pattern. Don't have a name. Let me see if I can drop the link. Oh, it's, it's long. It's a long link. Hmm. She has a tutorial for that one. Right here. It's the DIY poncho. Right there. That one. I can drop that link. There you go. 
There's a link come to your tank right there. That's the tutorial for it. It's two years old. <laughs> right, Miss Debbie. She had us looking back four years. Number 227. It's called the DIY Poncho Tank. So look on your um look on your flash drive and see if it's under DIY Poncho. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's what we do. Hey CJ, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Now where you see number 227 at? It said tutorial 724. Let me show you what this, this say tank. See right here it says bag of day crochet tutorial number 724. And it said get the PDF pattern download here. And then match and shawl tutorial here. And let's see what it comes up. That's the pure innocent shawl. So yeah. That is definitely it. It takes a village to find a pattern in tutorial, but we did it. That's right, Miss Debbie. I normally get here on time and let you play in the background while I am doing whatever around the house, getting ready for the evening, night, and tonight. I did not make it till now. That's okay, Cindy. That's okay, honey. Okay, tank saved. Good deal. Well, honey, if you ever ask that question again, I'll know exactly what to tell you. It may be on the flash drive. Finish shawl number one of Wishing on Dandelion. Oh, send a picture of it, Sunita. Or come up and show us. Just come up and show us. <laughs> I want to see it. And the best way to see it is if you come up and show it. And ain't you got ain't you got the power? It's a glitter marker and it's clear. What? I gotta try this out. I gotta see. Let me give me some paper. She said it's uploading. Come up, please. Miss Debbie said, Come up, please. She changed all the names and numbers on the tutorials and flash drive. Oh, Lord. Yo. I'm taking these suckers back to Dollar Tree. Oh. Let me pump them before I do that. Oh, you got to prime these markers. I finna take this up and bake Dollar Tree. <laughs> I wonder why she changed the numbers and tutorials on the flash drive. They should match the tutorials. The numbers that she have on YouTube, I would think. Ooh, it is glittery. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. 
But you got a problem. Miss Debbie said, okay, not camera ready. I understand. I do, but it's dark and octopus nana. I wonder how that shawl would be worked up in cotton yarn. Think what yarn you gonna use. Yeah, it's glittery. All right, figure them out. <laughs> Bob and our comfy cotton. Yeah, I'm going to show you this pattern I got. I think I, I don't know if I won this or where I got this pattern from. I don't know. But I'm going to use the comfy cotton that I got to make this. It's called the Jolie Knots Crochet. It's a bat wing sweater. And she used three weight yarn or light four weight. She used line brand comfy cotton, five millimeter and six millimeter um hooks used and two stitch markers i'm gonna make this with mine i like that but i had to get some of this other stuff done that way first i hope i have enough yarn Is Jolie Knott's Crochet, and I don't know if this was a free pattern that I won from Linda's Live one day, or what. But it's called the Batwing Sweater. Came off a of rivalry. Oh, it has a tutorial. Hmm. Let me see. Can I find the tutorial? And I'll drop the link. Because I know I'll watch the, the tutorial. Yep. Man, that's been three years ago. She's got it in right-handed and left-handed. Well, both of these say right-handed, but on here it say left-handed and right-handed. Huh. Let's see. It's telling me to wait. I'm telling you, ever since I updated. it. Sandrine says she has a bat wing pattern from Pinterest and YouTube. Is it this one? It's not knitted. It's crochet. I see. The stitch is used as a chain, double crochet, half double, slip stitch, back loop only, single crochet, and single crochet. And the special stitches as a V-stitch. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make this. I 
I have some um, comfy cotton in blue. I got in a Mary Maxim kit. I think I got five cakes of it. Oh, this is the right-handed one. So let me drop the link to the tutorial. All right, this is the bat wing sweater tutorial by Jolie Knights. Mm. So if y'all like me and it come with a tutorial, you'll do the tutorials. Well, I buy patterns and still watch the tutorial. Let me know if that works. And Sandrine, I mean, Sunita dropped the link to the pattern. But this is the link to the tutorial. Yep, she's sure using uh, Lime Brand Comfy Cotton. Hmm. I think that's what I have, Tank Blueberry. I think that's the name of it. They're back there in the back room. I think, yeah. It's back there in the back room. If you click it, it'll throw you out. I can go on my I can go on my channel and go to my live and click on it and see if I did it right. Yep, that's it. That is it. What, the uh, comfy cotton? Bleeds? Hmm. But I do, I like that one. I can make it in some of that um, Hobby Lobby cotton, I, uh, Hobby Lobby yarn I got. Or I can make it in that Trigo. Hmm. That, that ain't good. Ooh, I got a bunch of the cream color. Just the, the solid color, cream color. Ooh. I wonder how much I need. It doesn't say on the pattern. Oh, yeah, it does. 1,600 yards. 1,450. 1,450. 1,50. <gasps> That's, that'd probably be too thick, though. She said a lightweight number four, Jeannie. But this is light, though. Let's see if this will give me enough. I'll use this. 437 times three. Nope, thirteen eleven. Dang gummit. I'm talking, I'm trying to see could I use this, but I only have three. You have a bunch of what? The lime brand comfy cotton. You know the lime brand flicker yarn is the same thing as the comfy cotton. They, they just did a different market strategy.
I'm trying to see if I've seen it back there, but I don't see it back there. It's still in the Mary Maxim kit bag. Oh, here it is over here. <laughs> Jean. I got four cakes. And how many yards you get in these? Oh, the one I got is called Ocean Breeze. 392 yards. So I'll have enough of that to make make it. I mean, that's say like 392. See, I don't even remember. Yeah. 1568. Yeah, I got enough to make it. Yep, so that's one, that's something definitely I want to make. Yeah, it is, Rebecca. But now one thing I will say about it, crocheting it into garments, it can it can become um it can become kind of heavy. Okay, Maribel, I will. Sylvia's Happy Hobby Crochet. Tank, what does she crochet? I like boho style because I, I watch Dana from um, Days Crochet. And she does a lot of boho stylish stuff. Oh, wow. I see a lot of stuff on hers I like already. And I'm just going through. Crochet hexagon. Crochet jacket. Crochet cardigan. Wow. Like them squares she does for a poncho. Oh, she does Tunisian, too. Oh, let me subscribe to her. Thank you, Tank. <clears throat> yeah, I will do that because I have some, um, It's not a hundred, it's not which the comfy cotton is not all cotton either. But I have some of this, the Burnett Softy cotton. It's 60 cotton for the acrylic, and it is a three weight. I have a bunch of this. Um You get 254 yards, but I have a bunch of this. So, I I got other three weights I could use. Yeah, and I love the, the colors, her color palette, too. 
Especially with grandbabies. Little girls. We got about eight more minutes, y'all, and I'm going to call it a night. I'm getting, getting a little on the sleepy side. Yeah, thank you, Tank, for introducing her to us. Because uh, there are so many talented people out there on YouTube that we don't even know about. And it takes others to let us know about them. Use Roll With It Sparkle for the poncho she, you did of hers. You know what I think I'm going to do? My husband, I have a cow, but he'll be all right. Um, I think I'm going to set my other shelves up and might get some more in that other room of the office over there and put what my overflow of yarn in there so I can actually see what I got. Yeah, she does. I'm gonna have. Yeah, she's got a 30 inch doily that caught my attention. Thirty inches. That's pretty darn big. That's that big. I make a nice little rug. Oh, Regina said she was already subscribed, but I appreciate the info tank. Yes, yes, yes. I know one thing. My finger needs a lot of lotion on it. Oh, yeah, you can make it, definitely make it bigger. But if you use a bigger yarn than what she's crocheting with, it's going to be bigger anyway. Good night, Miss Debbie. Mine been on charge all night since we've been live. Look at Sanita sitting outside crocheting. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Sanita must have been nice today. Good night, Tank. Good night, Beach Girl. Yeah, I'm fixing to get ready to get off, too. Thank y'all so much for being here. I will see y'all Wednesday here at my house for the Yarny Fiber Sisters um, with myself and Miss Cynthia and Sunita in the background. <laughs> um... But thank y'all for being here tonight. I really do appreciate y'all. Still got 38 good folks here. But I've been up since 6.30. So I'm getting a little, a little sleepy. Thank you, Miss Vicky. Good night, Rebecca. Anybody going live after me? Behind me? Anybody, anybody, so we can send folks over y'all's way. 
Dawn, you going live? <laughs> Good night, Nikki. Sanu says, no, I'm going to bed. Sandrine, you going live? Dawn, you going live? And pull an all-nighter again? <laughs> oh, these are some good markers. You're welcome, Chris. Thank you. Don't say yes, give me a few minutes. I'll go live. I was just wanting to send people that way if anybody was going to be going live. So, so Don Yarn Doll is going to be going live. She said, ha ha, we will see. Hey, Miwanda says she likes them seven hour live. She puts it on in the truck and keeps on rolling. Anita said, let's do this real quick. Winter rules. U.S. lower 48 states only. When my stash winner must email by end of live to claim prize, I will need mailing address for purpose of sending prize only. And the winner is Lulu's Treasure Trove. Rebecca says, okay, cool, Don. I'll see you if you go live. Thank you, Sunita. I don't even know how many thumbs we ended up with. 92. We ended up with 92 thumbs. Congratulations, Lulu. Lulu, email Sunita. Uh, I'm over here on YouTube clicking on the comment. Uh, right here. Right here. Email Sunita. It's her name spelled backwards, Atinas, Atinas, 82NGO at gmail.com. Email her your address. She said, yes, Cindy, I haven't done one in a while. She's celebrating having a finished object. Hey, Sandra SC, you been listening while crocheting? Oh, Dawn, if you want your link drop, type neighbor. N-E-I-G-H-B-O-R. Good night, Lori. neighbor um you want to drop your live link hold on you can drop your own your live link now don i made you a um moderator and don't put the word neighbor in so if you are not she said, make it butterfly. <clears throat> I'm finna get off beach, girl. I was trying to give Dawn time to get everything set up. But Dawn's fixing to go live. Dawn Yarn Doll. She's fixing to go live. But I'm fixing to get off and go lay in the bed and listen to Dawn. I'll put her on the TV. Oh, yeah. I believe these might be going to be some good scissors. They cut paper good. Let's see if I can still cut a straight line.
Good night, Miss Vicky. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all so much. Go over to Dawn's. She's fixing to go live. It's always a lot of fun over there, a lot of laughs. So let's go over there and check her out. Dawn, have you scheduled it yet? This is her link. So just click on this link and it'll take you to her channel. And then when she goes live, it'll pop up for y'all. But thank y'all for being here. Miss Wanda, you be safe out there on those roadways. Um, Regina, so good to see you as well, sweetheart. And your box will be sent out tomorrow. I got to go in my shed and get another box for it. I had to take the box your stuff was in and give it to my dog to get in for when it thunders. So, but I got another one in my shed. <laughs> she did 10 plus today. Yes, there were 40 still in your chat. It is about 33 now. So I hope everyone that is here has a safe and blessed rest of your night. Sweet dreams, everyone, Lulu says. Thank you, Lulu. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sunita, for doing the giveaway. You're always so sweet. All of y'all are. And until next time, be kind. Remember to smile. Love each and every one of you all. And I'll see y'all in the next video. I'll do my squares tomorrow and get everything caught up. Be day 91 tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Y'all see my mosquito bite. <laughs> see y'all in the next one.